things are progressing very nicely on the face of it. That's what the numbers would show. So we've done some analysis of uh, how the market's progressing. We think equity deals were up in terms of amount invested by about 80% last year. There's a slight difference of opinion as to whether the number of deals has actually gone up as well. So our data shows that the number of deals have gone up slightly. Um, corroborated by other data sources as well. Some say that the number of deals actually gone down, but actually the overall point is that the average ticket size in every round is going up. And we can see that in our funds, and you can also see that because VCs are raising bigger and bigger funds to react to that, if you like. So uh, there's a nice graph that, again, a couple of commercial data providers show that shows you how the pre-money valuations at, at Series A, Series B, etc. have been ticking up year on year on year and we certainly see that in our, in our data and in the funds that we're, we're investing. So I think the overall conclusion for us is um, it, it, it's probably on balance a positive thing because we think that there could be more startups that turn into high growth businesses if they were able to access the capital they need to, to grow faster. And, um, and that's true at every stage. So companies not raising as much money, for example, as companies in the US at Seed and Series A and Series B, it's not just about big late stage rounds, it's something that goes all the way, all the way up the chain. And that's something that, that we're working on actively. That's a really interesting question, actually. Um, one of the things that's been particularly interesting about hearing all the discussions today is just how different the markets are across Europe today compared to three years ago or five years ago or, or, or ten years ago and how quickly things are changing and I think my, my broad conclusion actually is that the differences such as they are are, are kind of levelling out over time so even if you look at the amount of money invested or the number of funds that are active in each market you know 15 years ago perhaps the UK was 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 the clear leader and, and now actually there are a lot more funds in the UK but also in France and Germany uh, and various other places as well so I think it, it's not so much what the differences are it's actually the story for me of the last four or five years has been how the market has become much more integrated we see more of our UK funds doing deals in um, in, in Europe and and vice versa as well and so what what that does is there's a kind of leveling of mindsets for example you know the, the idea that you're going to build big companies and and people who take money from funds from the UK they bring that knowledge and experience from operating in the UK market and similarly if you you're a UK company and you've taken money from a French VC or a German VC you bring that that experience I think what's also common to all of it as well is um, there's been a lot more money from outside the European ecosystem. So US VCs, for example, participating. That's true in the UK, but it's also true in, 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 the, in the continent as well. And non-fund non sources of capital like, like corporates. Again, that's listening to the discussion. That's true in the UK just as much as it is in, in, in Germany. And I think the, the differences as they are really are much more executional. I think that the kind of big picture, for me, it's, it's really that there's, there's a, a much bigger integration and harmonization, I think, than, than, than was true a decade ago or 15 years ago.